Hi, my friends. Very welcome to your vintage beauties. So, I was walking my dogs, went by my Goodwill, stopped by to say hello, and they said they had a huge bag. And if I want to have it, I decided to have it. So, this is what we're going to go through. Uh, we're kind of pausing on the previous bags. I still have a lot, and just let's go through this big one. And also, I purchased this ring for myself. I went there and I saw this Melifiori ring. Look how see-through it is. This is beautiful. And I was like, oh, I want to have it. And I got it for myself. For now. All right, so let's get going. We have this bag. Oh, the bag is huge, probably like 10, 12 pounds. I don't think we'll be able to go through all of it today. But we can get started. Let's get some stuff out. This looks like um, I wow. Let's take a look closer. What is this? It's another one. Let's take a look. I guess we need presidium. I guess this looks like I will. Let's see if there are any stems. I don't see any right now. Oh, maybe something right there. What is it? Fourteen carat. Uh oh, and it's a white gold. So, wow! I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Let's see. Let's see if when presidium warms up. I know I'm not supposed to move presidium. I'll be very gentle with it. Let's take a look. Let's take a look what Presidium says. I have a sus yep. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We got white gold, 14 carats with diamonds. Is it what like an engagement ring? What type of ring is it? I cannot believe it. The first thing we're getting out of this bag. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Okay. Wow. First thing out of the bag. White 14 karat gold diamond ring. How many diamonds? There? They're not too big. They're probably like a couple of millimeters each. The 10, 10 little diamonds. What is it? One carat all together? Maybe. Wow. <laughs> okay. Putting it aside. <sighs> wow. <laughs> that was, that was unexpected. All right. Let's see what I got out in the first. Right here we have a gold tone. I'm going to turn off Presidium for now. I don't want it to overheat. Right here we have a um, gold tone post earring. A single earring with different... Seems like glass rhinestones. Okay. Let's get this one. This one's big. This necklace is huge. Bronzy collar barrel clasp. So we have a shell necklace. It says made in Philippines, I think. What I just see the one word Philippines. This is a shell, and right here we have probably shells. Yeah, shells and some knots and wood and very 
Islander kind of necklace. Really pretty. Very pretty. Okay. Cuff bracelet, peace sign, kind of hammered piece uh, links. No stamp, gold tone, muted gold tone. Pretty, pretty bracelet. Very clean condition. Very clean. Okay, gold tone necklace. I don't see any stamps. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's take a look a little closer. Yeah, no stamps. Gold tone rope chain. And at the bottom right here, we have a pendant. I would assume this one is a natural stone. And then we have a 2001 Liberty coin. Huh. Interesting. I, by the way, I, I found my lost magnet. Let me zoom you guys out. Huh. It's not magnetic. I've never seen... I don't think it's gold, but... I'm not sure it's in this... Yeah, I don't think it's gold, because this is magnetic. Everything's magnetic. Um, the coin is not... United States of America. What else? Is it like a... Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, putting it aside for now. I'm going to have to take a look. I still cannot believe we got um, diamond ring as the first thing out of out of this bag. Wow. Okay, what is this? It's kind of like a necklace, silver town, kind of like a torque necklace. I don't see any. I don't think I see any stamps. Yeah, I don't think there are any stamps on it. Let's see. It's not magnetic. It's not magnetic. Interesting closure. Closure has a security. Maybe anything on the side? Huh. No, I don't see anything. Okay, I have, I think, one. I usually forget to bring my Q-tips, but I think I have one. So we can at least test this one. And see what's going on here. This is not silver. It did not become red, brown, or anything. Uh, nickel, most likely. Putting this aside. So this is not silver, and I think it was at some point maybe a um, little bit of gold. Um, had gold um, covering, or um, I'm forgetting the word, but as of right now, it is not. It's silver toned. It's very pretty though. Very 
use my neck. Let's take a look on the neck. That's really pretty, really pretty. It needs to be cleaned polished a little bit and it's really pretty kind of sort of turkish looking like right here we have a single oh why do i forget names cufflink gold town plastic cabochon what else right here what is this a ring pretty ornate gold tone ring oh my goodness it's not magnetic but I don't see any stamps yeah I don't see any stamps right there I don't think so all right let's try maybe we can test No, this is not gold. It's it's red. The I think this is kind of I see pinkish color right here. So it tells me copper kind of picking through. Yep. Just gold tone the gold tone just a gold tone ring seven I think yeah size seven pretty clean clean condition very clean okay let's finally take this out Right here we have a oh wow that's cute um, one single strand of faux pearls they're not natural but they are glass they're glass pearls they seem to be in a really good condition I don't see a closure but I see this this tag right here kind of um, like a lock silver tone lock with a rhinestone very pretty, heavy, very cool, very clean, very heavy, guys. Yeah, there's a lot of glass here. Okay, right here we have a single earring, pearl, um, faux pearl, purple color faceted bead. Put it aside for now. One more necklace, one strand, toggle clasp, kind of um, grayish color beads, um, hematite color and kind of grayish glass color. These are glass beads, I think. Pretty clean. Stretchy bracelet stretch is not really good, but the faceted beads and rhinestones are pretty clean and pretty good. So to restretch it, it would be nice bracelet. Glass. It is glass. Yeah, I can feel it. And I have. Let's see. Really cool. Um, coral bracelet it's kind of look it's kind of made woven with uh, seed beads red seed beads it's a tiny bit stretchy tiny bit and right here we have corals and it is kind of a button closure 
really oh my goodness so nice to have it on my hand really pretty coral really pretty well done bracelet so right here we have different single earrings so we have this gold tone clip on I don't think she has a name I have this silver tone clip on this one is let's see who made you gay boyer oh I think it's uh, I know I used to have a um, belt buckles of gay boyer so but there is only one right now uh, post single uh, post earring Oh, this is really cute artisan piece heart kind of a carved and silver and copper stripes single post earring again black seed beads and faceted beads single earring uh, dangle gold tone and another one um, post earring two-tone silver tone and gold tone but they're all single ones for now I'm gonna put them right here on the side because they're all singles right here we have a bangle bracelet with charms kind of a Alex Anani look-alike I don't see any names but it's kind of a nautical um, theme seahorse sea star or starfish and shells and the pearl yeah silver tone but this one's kind of painted green and a very muted green pearl probably faux pearl okay one more necklace like we had previously but this one is all i think yeah this one is all the same width um, the previous one I had graduated with it was more wider on the bottom than on the top and this one's all the same with silver tone this one has a fold over clasp the other one had a the other one had a box clasp but this one has a fold over clean condition but again this is just a silver tone a little bit of untangling someone like it someone someone don't and I guess the more subscribers I'm gonna have the more ma many more different opinions we're gonna have right okay another single earring dangle one silver tone with plastic yellow cabochon oh this one's fell off of something oh we'll see we will see ah, probably this one all right let's take a look right here we have a glass dichroic glass beautiful pendant this might be silver might be but not quite sure not magnetic we have a silver tone let me see oh, I had didn't have lights I put a little bit more lights so you guys can see um, looks like silver tone yeah silver tone necklace look how beautiful look how see-through beautiful this dichroic glass art glass pendant necklace what is this gold tone and plastic cabochon necklace no name but condition is not bad this is back this is front um, very pretty oh, one more single earring post earring gold tone with rhinestone put it aside um, right here we have a pendant I think let's see I think it might be um, spoke too soon 
put it, um, let's see what else we have here. Put them aside. Well, this one's kind of pretty. Very clean, um, silver tone necklace. Um, glass, I think these ones are glass. To me, I made to look like natural stone, but I think they're glass. Or, uh, uh maybe how light, you know, maybe how light, they're very, very cold to touch. This uh, silver tone kind of plaques are very clean. Chain is very sturdy, very well done. I'm, I'm surprised there is no name. I don't think it's been used because this is completely clean. No sc scratch free. This is very pretty, gorgeous necklace. What else do we have here? Um, we have a silver tone chain. It is a silver tone chain, magnetic, very clean, very long. It's kind of twisted flat chain. Very um, nice. Uh, what is this? This is also a very cool necklace. A little kind of, okay, here we go. Gold tone lobster claw. It's two-tone chain. This chain is kind of tarnished silver tone color. And then we have a gold tone color closure. It's a little magnetic. No stamps or anything. Seems very pretty. I, I would say it's 18 inches. Very pretty, very good condition. What else we have here? Let's see if, if I'll be able to untangle it really quickly. We'll go through. If not, we'll leave it till later. Okay, so we have a few necklaces here and a gold tone chain. Yeah, the chain is only gold tone. Uh, probably the pendant fell off of it. It's a very bright yellow color. Like um, in India, they make gold tone this color. Very, very bright yellow. Okay, so right here we have a silver tone necklace. It has a $20 tag attached to it. It's... Um, toggle clasp silver tone and then we have a pendant um, glass right here it's kind of a medallion and uh, and a hand kind of protective hand Hamsa I think here we go very pretty with the tag next one we have again $20 also toggle clasp silver tone and it does have um yeah i think yeah silver tone this one has um this type of pendant this looks to me like um some kind of a seal like a solomon seal and this yeah maybe it's also israeli necklace very pretty good condition Okay, cool. Next one is bronzy color chain, no name, and the pendant has this beautiful owl. Owl sits on a branch, it has black rhinestone eyes and a brown enameled um, belly. Very pretty. 
All right, moving right along. This one is $18, original price, silver tone chain. And this pendant. I honestly don't know what this is. If you guys know, please let me know what it might like signifies. But this is the type of pendant we have, silver tone. Okay. And next I have a silver tone necklace. This one does have a taggy. Taggy says... I don't know what taggy says. Let's see. It has this type of kind of a stamp um, triangle and it says P2P if you guys know what it means let me know but on the um, it has this very simple um, silver tone ornate kind of um, teardrop pendant Oh, right here it's also I think stamped P2P. Let's take a look. Yeah, this one has the same P2P and triangle stamp. So yeah, let me know if you know. I don't know. I will try to research. Okay. Let's see. Next. Next one. Right here, the single earring came out, but I know it fell off of the card. I just saw a card, I think. Let me take a look. Yeah, here is the card. And by the way, there is more necklaces. Oh my God, like this. So first, let's take a look. Oh yeah, backing fell off. So right here, we have a very pretty earrings. Um, Kind of a rose gold color for pierced ears they are um, kind of a drops with rhinestones um, the name says mako i will find the backing for it so very pretty earrings on the card pretty next i have another necklace like this kind of a toric um, this one also has a box closure I don't see any markings. It is most likely just silver tone. It needs to be cleaned. Kind of a torque type of necklace. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned. It's just very filthy. Then we have this Claire's bracelet on the card. Silver tone. Oh, what is the silver tone bracelet? Kind of a Parisian. Oh, we have sunglasses, a note, key, Eiffel Tower, yeah, all this kind of pretty hefty, actually, guys. It's not that light. This one's pretty hefty, kind of like a solid bracelet. There we go. On the card. Um, then I have a single earring. Let's see, where's my black light okay what it does have a little bit of kind of a greenish color like amber supposed to have but this is just a um, single earring right here we have a stretcher bracelet i've seen commercials for this bracelet so it's kind of like um good luck charm bracelet from china Stretch is okay, pretty strong. It's it's okay. Ouch. Cut my nail. Okay. We have a stretchy bracelet right here. Silver tone with rhinestones. Stretch is good. Uh, right here we have a gold tone necklace with kind of a caged faux pearls. Oh, let's see what it says here. Oh, it's Avon. 
right here you'll probably see Avon necklace gold tone oh I thought this one was stretcher bracelet but it is not it is actually oh it's Chico's Ooh la la we have a Chico silver tone bracelet magnetic I think closure yep magnetic closure magnet is good and we have kind of a faux druzy and all different type of rhinestones oh these ones are glass glass and plastic druzies and glass rhinestones right here this one's glass this one's glass faux pearl it's kind of a very muted um green color olive muted olive green color pastel i would say really cool bracelet right here is it's just a strand of plastic bead faceted beads necklace no closure uh, very um, colorful but they're plastic yeah very colorful necklace blues reds purples greens Right here we have a bronzy color necklace. Okay, so this is a very interesting cabochon. It's kind of a foils under the plastic think plastic I'm gonna do my presidium very interesting there are um, two I think it's how many do we have four strands bronzy color different types of chains they're all layered and on the very long one very interesting on the the long one we have this beautiful actually beautiful cabochon pendant look how deep and beautiful this is i probably won't be able to show you the whole prettiness of it but i will try so see there are different layers and then you have this big squared pendant i think it's plastic i think yeah this one's um acrylic i would say and it has a foil on the back very pretty probably shiny on the Sun right here we have a, a silver tone ring it says India right here it says India and that's it it's kind of like oh my goodness okay Okay, um, next one is a necklace. We have lobster claw, silver tone, then we have a uh, different type of small beads, black and clear, and uh, right here we have a glass, three glass dichroic, dichroic glass beads, silver tone, black and silver, silver tone. Right here is very interesting bracelet, like a chain. There is no closure. It's very pliable very pliable seven I can actually double check yep seven gold tone mm, conditions not bad oh Oh my goodness, that's an earring. I, saw, I thought it was a ring. This one is a silver tone, I think. Earring. Yeah, I don't see any stems. I think this one is silver tone. Let's see what do we have here. 
right here we have a CZ. Hopefully we have another one. Uh, I like this liver closure. Very sturdy, very cute. And our liver needs to be fixed. In a sense of like, it needs to be like higher a little bit for it to close because it's very low. Here we go. Yeah, now it's good. Very beautiful, very shiny. Um, one more earring, but again, we only have a one right here. Silver tone with blue plastic beads. Bracelet, silver tone and plastic cabochons. Yep, silver tone and plastic cabochons, bracelet. A silver tone necklace with a hard and kind of a black rhinestones. Okay, let's take a look. Silver tone, no name. Yep, silver tone chain with this um, hard pendant. Silver tone bracelet with rhinestones and smiley faces. <laughs> Probably Claire's. And it has rhinestones and smiley faces. Plastic necklace, plastic beads, but it's really clean. Silver tone necklace, lobster claw, and graduated plastic beads. But condition is clean. Um, gold tone earring, post, single. Oh my goodness, we have a yeah, right there. Hard to see, but we have, um, I think this one, um, this amber was, is not raw. It reheated, I believe, to mix this shape. Uh, silver earring with amber, but um, I so far I have only one. Only one. But I know a lot of uh, people that well, very crafty. They can put a solder jump ring right here and they can make uh, pendants out of these ones. Or they, you can take this one all together and the jump ring is already here. Look at this. So you can make this one as a pendant without the top part. Yep. So, so far it's a single one. Right here we have a very interesting neck uh, necklace, I was going to say, earring. So this one front and this one's back. It's gold tone. Um, the post is gold uh, colored also. So let's take a look. Is there anything on the post? Nothing on the post. Yeah, I don't think I see anything on the post. Is there anything here? Oh, this one says Avon. So most likely these ones are Avon earrings, but I only have one. So you put it like this. And then like this. Yep. So there's only one earring of this. Okay, moving right along. This one is very cool. This one is very cool. This is very natural. Yep, all our natural stones necklace. I I think this one is colored because we have different. Yeah, we have this one is colored. You can see where there is a hole. There's a white, very white in there. So this stone, I believe, is colored. Yes, I believe this stone is colored. So I don't have a like a nail polish remover right now with me to check, but you can see when in the drilled hole there is white in there. So this one is colored. 
but it's still a very beautiful necklace natural stone once again we have a silver tone lobster claw and then we have this pretty necklace with uh with a pendant very pretty and the next one is is this chico's no oh i don't i don't know what, who, who who this is so we have a kind of a senorita closure and we have this thing is it like a wishbone or what is it i don't know and we have white and purple dichroic glass beads necklace very pretty very pretty necklace well i would like to take a five minute break so um if you're still here i have a surprise for you so when i went to my um local goodwill to buy this bag i told you i also purchased this ring for me for myself i really like this one also purchased this bracelet um it's this one's for sale i just thought that it was really really cute it's artisan piece most likely there is no other one like this silver tone bronzy kind of a color different yeah but this two they came together i need to test it for real turtle shell i don't think it would be real they allowed to sell it i'm not quite sure so most likely it is not but just in case and i also bought this if you guys still here and you guys are still watching i have this necklace it is a silver necklace it's nine to five made in italy with this really beautiful uh, abalone slipper so i would like you to i want you guys to have it i want you to enter slipper in the comment the word slipper and we're going to do the contest so next time on friday before um before everything we will do um the drawing of the winner um so you have to be a subscriber to this channel and you need to put a word slipper in the comment okay and that's what we're gonna do just to say thank you to you guys for being my my very very loyal follower and subscriber and commenting and loving and liking it and just being here for me okay so we're gonna draw this one on friday someone's gonna be a lucky owner of this necklace okay thank you guys all right let's move along next this one's probably gonna be the last pull and then we're gonna and the rest we're going to leave for the next one. We'll see how, how time permits. Okay. I'm going to put my baggie aside. All right. Silver tone earring. Uh tri-toned rose gold yellow kind of gold tonish and silver tone uh, for pierced ears but again only one another gold tone cufflink what does this one say what christian dior what oh we need another one we need another one this christian dior cufflink no way what oh my god <laughs> wow putting this one aside what is this oh my goodness look at this earring that's a gummy bear humongous earring light blue i think of course it's plastic this one is uh for pierced ears i don't see any i don't know who made 
him, but I have them. I have two of them. <laughs> Look at this pretty gummy bears. Look how cute they are. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. I just can't believe it. Oh, I just can't. Oh, so cute. Oh, what is this? One more since I have Presidium. This is CZ. Accidentally touched the metal. This is um, Cubic Tarconia uh, ring, Silver Tone. Yeah, I don't see any stamps or anything. Silver Tone ring, very pretty, uh, kind of a blue on the verge of being lilac color stone with white. They're Cubic Tarconia. Seven. Screw back and clip on. Who made this clip-on earring? Let's see. Mori. I don't know Mori or Moray. Mori. Probably Mori. Faux pearl, silver tone. Again, only one. Oh, I love this one. Oh, wow. Look at that. So we have a silver tone necklace. Um, this is the toggle clasp closure. I don't see any stamps or anything. And then we have, look at this gorgeousness. Look at this purple. By the way, I colored my hair purple. So, you know, purple is my favorite color. It's not magnetic. Look at this real, um, shit. Oh, guys, 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 look at this. Look right here. What do we have? 925. We have 925. So I think this one, this guy is silver. We're going to need to test him. And it's heavy. And look at the bright. Okay, let's see. Guys, this is amethyst. Actually, it goes a touch a bit higher than amethyst. I'm amethyst. No, it is amethyst. This is amethyst, guys. Look at this silver necklace. Look at this beautiful amethysts. Oh, yes. They're all amethysts. Oh, my God. I'm so tempted to keep it. I'm so tempted because I have an amethyst bracelet. Let me show you. So I found this bracelet a little while ago, also with amethyst. This one, this one's a kind of lilac color, a little bit paler. This one, absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe it. Oh, what a beauty. Look at this. Look at this beauty. I just can't, I just can't stand it. Look at this. Gorgeous. gorgeous silver necklace with amethyst and uh, shell. I'm in love. Aside, what else? Right here we have another Indian kind of a ring. Um, in India, I don't think they stamp their rings. Um, it might be gold. Might be. I'm not quite sure. It looks like Indian gold, but let's take a look right here. Oh, these are natural, guys. The white one. The white one seems to be natural kind of crystal um, quartz. The green one, mm, glass. The blue one went to spinel. The red one, a red one went to spinel. This white one went to quartz. Right here was something, it fell out. 
yeah this one might be gold because it looks like Indian gold I don't see any stamps or anything we will need to test it and I'm gonna see if I find any stones from here but most likely no I doubt it next we have two hoops thank god they're together they're gold tone hoops with uh, clear rhinestones and rhinestones are glass oh wait a minute it mm, i would say no because it's kind of jerks a little bit but i would say no yeah uh what is this a gold tone earring post earring um there is no name i don't see any names or anything yeah, not quite sure. Magnetic single. Oh, look at this necklace. It is magnetic, as you can see. We need a neck for this one. So, let's see at the closure. Closure is shepherd's hook. Right here we have a kind of a dangly piece, teardrop. Let's close it and see how it looks like. Oh, there is something right here. Oh, this one is Koro, guys. This is the Koro necklace, gold tone Koro necklace. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, faux pearls and AB coated red uh, rhinestones. Wow, look at this prettiness. Glass rhinestones. I love this bag. I love this bag. Okay, moving right along. Uh, I see this clip-on earring, gold tone, uh, pretty solid. Um, there is no name. Single one. I want to find Christian Dior, Dior cufflink. I just, I must. <laughs> I must. Um, here is a um, second earring for this one. Um, they're pretty hefty. They're kind of solid uh, metal. I don't know who made you, but you are pretty. You're pretty. Here's your mate. Gold tone needs to wipe down. They're pretty filthy, but they're cool. Stretchy um, bracelet. Stretch is not good, but all this faceted glass beads could be re strong so this one's for crafty people here's another oh oh <laughs> what's going on here this is a magnet guys <gasps> maybe i found myself a fancy pantsy magnet oh fancy pantsy look at this i think it's somebody made made a brooch or something <laughs> look how gorgeous it is this is glass wow these are glass these are gra glass rhinestones look how gorgeous and this is kind of magnet i'm not sure it's probably they used it as a like a brooch or something magnet is very strong maybe i'm going to use it as my fancy pantsy magnet <laughs> okay right here is another necklace that i am very interested in so we have a silver tone chain i don't think i see any i don't think there is any stamps or anything forgive my filthy fingers yeah i thought it was a stamp right here but not quite sure no, and there is no stamps. So we have a silver tone chain. It has an extender. Extender has this plastic, I think. Oh no, glass. Wait a minute, it's glass. It's kind of warm. Glass beads. And then we have beads. Well, you know, let's test my, oh my God, it is so strong. My goodness, magnet is so strong. Let's test it yes it is not silver 
So silver tone necklace. And then it kind of splits into three different chains. They're layered. And again, we have we have um, a coin from Republic of France. 10 francos, francs, 10 francs. Yeah, so let's, what about the coin? Coin is not magnetic. So if you want to see how it looks like, it's like this. So they're kind of like one strand, then it goes into three, the tad bead layered, and it has two glass beads on this side, there is none on this, and then we have a coin. Okay. I have another dichroic glass, art glass pendant, very pretty, because it has um, kind of like a peephole right here, and if you look into it, I don't know if I can, it's, it's really pretty. There is some design in it, like a magnifying glass. Really pretty, really pretty. I need to find the chain for this one, or uh, I think I have it. I think I have it. You know what I can use? You know what I think will look good on this one? Remember Newman Marcus? I think we had a this one. Is it Newman Marcus or someone else? Oh, it, it's uh, Miller. What is that? Oh, can't remember. Nolan Miller, yeah, Nolan Miller. I think it would look good on this Nolan Miller um, kind of a thread, rope would look really pretty. Maybe I'll put on this one. Yeah, I wish. Newman Marcus, right? Mm -hmm. I do. What I do? What did I say? I'm not thinking straight. All right, next is another earring. This one, a single one. Then we have um, a necklace. This one's look like... Um, this one's a real, uh, probably kind of like a river pearls, freshwater pearls. Let's see if these are, these are not magnetic. Might be very tarnished silver, which needs to be tested, but right here we're missing, um, we're missing the toggle. Very kind of light pinkish color pearls. Right here we have a, an earring, post earring, very pretty. We need to clean up this. What is going on here? Oh, it's, it's really bad, guys. It's like falling apart. I think it's falling apart. Who made you, mister? Nobody. Yeah, I think I, even if I find a second one, I'm going to put him to craft his... Blech. Another... Oh, this one's very pretty earring. This is glass. Art glass bead. But for now I have a single one. Oh my goodness, right now we see this is not silver. This is just a metal adjustable ring, but the um, cabochon is natural stone. Yes, it is natural. It is in the middle of amethyst, kind of for some reason, um, line. So it might be. Um, some kind of color, maybe quartz or some, I don't know. Okay, this one is multi-stranded. I 
she needs to go because I don't want her to be tangled on everything else and I'm not sure I will be able to untangle this one multi stranded chain layered it has a lobster claw gold tone closure not too clean but not too bad that's kind of like so so but it needs to be wiped down it, it needs to be cleaned definitely for sure and untangled but it's pretty hefty it's pretty hefty it's not very lightweight okay putting her aside right here we have a clip-on earring bronzy colored it is japan pretty i think these ones are faux pearls they're just beads and yeah very lightweight right here we have a faux pearl yeah purple color glass i think these are glass yep these are glass beads kind of a fur pearl uh, purpley color and closure I thought it was magnetic but it is not it is um, kind of a barrel clasp yeah barrel clasp very pretty closure with rhinestones I'm not sure I'll be able to oh yeah no 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 There, there are CZs. These are CZs, guys. Very pretty. I don't know how to describe this color. Kind of muted, purpley, grayish kind of color. Very clean, gorgeous necklace. Next, we have. Okay, this one is a hammer tied dangle earring. I only have one. Uh, right here we have a gold tone needs to be cleaned necklace very interesting oh uh, who is this guys uh what does it say l a uh, ian do you think it says ian So we have a gold tone chain. Now we have this kind of like a bolo necklace thing going over here. And then we have a we have a pendant and a gold tone chain tassel. This one is not even glass. Plastic cabochon. Looks like uh, the whatever you have on the boats or yeah i don't know i don't even know how to explain this necklace this one's moving all over the place this one's moving i don't know how to explain this very unique and interesting necklace gold tone pretty clean right here we have a silver tone bracelet and right here it has a chain and a pink ribbon kind of we went through the chain very interesting bracelet also needs to be cleaned I don't see any names or any anything I think this one is eight let's see yep. very magnetic we're using our magnetic bougie magnet okay single silver tone oh what is this single silver tone kind of a dangle hoop earring I don't yet have another one. This one is very interesting earring. Not magnetic. With the, a faux pearl. Yeah, I don't know. Um, gold tone hoop. Not magnetic, but it doesn't doesn't feel like yeah i think it's a gold tone uh, 
um, maybe let's take a look. Hold on, maybe is there anything right here? It's very nasty. I thought something was right here, but I, no, I don't think so. All right. Right here we have a silver tone bracelet, toggle clasp, and it says my home, my, and home bracelet. Very pretty. Another faux pearl necklace. These ones are probably plastic. Doesn't feel like they are glass. No, they're not glass. But I like this hidden closure, guys. I really do. I like hidden closures. There is nothing on this. There we go. This is very pretty hidden closure. Very cute. Cl uh, clean condition has a little bit of AB kind of coating, iridescent coating to the pearls. Right here we have an interesting post earring, gold tone hammered disc, and pretty clean black tassel. Again, single one. One more earring, gold tone, and two hearts. Red plastic and gold tone plastic. One more single earring, two plastic butter butterflies. Um, silver tone angel pin, kind of push pin. What does it say here? Baloo. Balu registered. Hmm. I think I've heard it somewhere. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, this one is really dirty. Even if it says something, I, I would not know. But we can test your rhinestone. Your rhinestones. Rhinestone is glass. Yeah, she needs cleaning this angel. One more earring I like this liver closure and what is this um, necklace okay um, silver tone close it's a little close to gunmetal color and plastic beads all right and I think what is this? Some kind of backing. I don't have any more. All right. So I think we're going to stop at this point. I'm still taken by this one. Not even this ring. You know, this is kind of like, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm ecstatic about this. But this one is just taking, it uh, just takes my breath. What do you guys think? And don't forget, don't forget. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, put slipper in the comment, and you may be the one who wins this necklace, silver necklace from Italy with the um, abalone slipper and rhinestone right here. Let's take a look. I didn't even notice. Let's take a look. What do we have here? We have a CZ here. This one is a cubic zirconia rhinestone. Maybe you'll be the one to win this beautiful necklace. All right, on this note, I really appreciate you guys joining me. I will see you on Friday and we will do the drawing of the winner, all right? Please comment, like, subscribe. It would mean, uh, it would actually mean the world to me if you subscribe and stick around. And also don't forget to click on the bell so you will not miss videos like this if you like it in the future. See you later. Bye-bye.